we knew the world would not be the same. Few people laughed, few people cried, most people were silent. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita. Vishnu is trying to persuade the prince that he should do his duty. And to impress him, takes on his multi-armed form and says, now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that one way or another. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul. This is Gainer's Paradise, and it's another no fluff, all gains workout. Today, we have a simple yet effective leg day. We're diving right into one of my favorite new things that I've been implementing lately, which is not necessarily a new exercise, but a new way of approaching it. Here we have the hack squat, but I'm going low on the platform. You can see my heels are actually hanging off the platform. I want to make sure this is a quad dominant move and getting those knees far over the toes is gonna to give you that effect. The other unique thing I'm doing on this particular exercise is an eight count negative with a regular positive. But we're working with the negative specifically to increase strength and increase the hypertrophy response so we get the most out of everything we do. But in addition to that, I'll split the set in half where I do these ultra slow negatives followed by a portion of regular reps. So. In this one, I'll go four negative with an eight count on the way down, and then I'll follow with four regular pace reps. Again, the benefit of that low footing on the platform plus the negatives gives me the extra quad development I'm looking for. It's an absolutely brutal set, so it will take some discipline to work through those negatives because right around the halfway mark, your body wants to give out and fall to the bottom of the exercise, but that's when you have to fight the hardest. After that, once again, you follow it up with those regular reps and then you're done with this set. I did four of the eight count slow followed by regular rep sets. And then I finished with one all out heavy set on the hacks here. Nothing fancy about these other than we kept a nice even pace on the way up and down. And then of course the lower footing on the platform to build in that quad resistance. Another few things to keep in mind when you're doing hack squats, you want to maintain a solid pressure from that lower back perspective into the pad, meaning you don't want to let that back roll up. You don't want it coming off the pad and you want to keep that body really tight to the machine. You do that, you'll keep yourself stable. You'll be able to move a lot of weight safely and get that full range of motion without risk of injury or straining or anything like that. And of course, I have Mike in the mix who's helping me and spotting me through those few reps that I can't get on my own. From there, I take it to the leg press. We're already warm, so we don't need any warm up sets. So we just dove right into a heavy single leg leg press. The key with these is to find the position that you feel the most comfortable in that not only is your footing in the right place, but your hands are in the right place to stabilize your body. And then I always have in mind in terms of range of motion that I want my knee touching my shoulder. And that's where I wanna take it. Now, instead of showing you the other leg because it's the same thing, I went straight to that double leg, leg press set to finish off the heavy work. Here was all about giving my all on one heavy set. We stacked it up. I think there's 10 plates on each side. And it's a matter of going as low as humanly possible without rolling my back up, although there are times that I will. But in this case, I wanted to keep that good position of the body. I'm hanging onto the seat to keep me locked into that position. And again, knees to shoulders is always my goal when it comes to that range of motion. One of the things that's more important on leg press than other things is the pace on this matters. If you drop the weight instead of lower the weight, you're gonna have to fight a lot of momentum really you want to think about it as allowing the weight to come down muscularly rather than gravity just pulling it down because you've relaxed after that we went to two sets of the seated leg curls again we went heavy on both sets but it was contextual to the rep range the first set was a set of 10 reps the second set was a set of eight reps here i take a slight pause at the top of every rep 
as long as it's not more than 10 seconds, your body doesn't know the difference. You're still in the middle of the set. And to finish off the leg workout all together, we finish on the leg extensions. This is unique only in that we did half the set with that seat position forward and then half the set with the seat all the way back more in a lounge leg extension style like I've done before. You'll notice a difference in engagement. The key here, of course, is to not only get that extension, but then slightly lift the leg off of the pad itself. You'll see this in that lounge position rather than the upright position. But that's going to complete another workout of the week. Keep it simple. Go heavy. Go hard. Keep it at 100% intensity. There's no magic to this. Stay consistent. But keep training, keep gaining, and I'll see you on the next episode. Thank you.